We all know about solar energy, right? The sun has been around for billions and billions of years, heating the earth, making things grow, and making life thrive. The simple truth is we, human beings, wouldn't exist without the sun. And over the years, we've gotten better at using the sun's energy. The ancient Greeks built their homes to harness the sun's heat during the winter and keep the inside cooler during the summer. Einstein won a Nobel Prize for figuring out how to turn sunlight into electricity. And in the middle of the last century, we developed the first solar electric panel. Since then, we've spent billions and billions of dollars in research, putting solar panels on satellites, space stations, cars, and planes. All the while, the efficiency of these panels is going up, and the cost of making them is coming down. So you would think the big utility companies that are going solar would lower their prices, right? Wrong. It turns out they have to get that electricity to you by using high capacity electrical lines. And a lot of that electricity transmitted over those lines gets lost, and they charge you for it. In fact, the United States loses more electricity due to transmission loss than Japan uses, period. And the incentives the big utility companies currently offer, they're going away too. Why? Because they want to keep your business and charge you as much as they can, of course. But there's a solution, and you don't have to be Einstein to figure this out. Invest in a rooftop solar array and start earning dividends today. Solar power is the most abundant renewable energy resource we have available on Earth. Solar generated electricity is created by using technology field tested and improved upon since the 19th century. When sunlight hits the modules on a solar photovoltaic, or PV, installation, the modules convert the sun's energy into electricity that can be used to power your home. Whether the electricity is being drawn from a PV installation or a utility company, your home's power performance will stay the same. The direct current, or DC power, that the installation produces is wired into an inverter. This inverter converts the DC power into an alternating current, better known as AC power. This AC power is the standard electrical current used for powering most homes, appliances, and luxuries throughout the world. The electrical current then flows from the inverter to the home's electrical service panel that feeds electricity into the household. An optional tracking meter can keep track of a home's total electrical consumption, the total output of the solar installation, and more. These tracking systems often have live display systems or online monitors, so you can track how much of your home's electricity needs are being met by your system's production and how well your system is performing at any point in time. During the day, if the solar system's production exceeds the house's electrical needs, the excess electricity is fed back into the power grid. When this occurs, you can observe the electrical meter spin backwards. Most local governments have a system of credits set in place that require utility companies to buy this excess energy back for various renewable energy standards, portfolios, and goals. In addition to reducing your electric bill, these credits can be sold to utilities. This generates revenue to pay back your cost of investment for the PV system and eventually turn a profit. At night, or any time a household is using more electricity than a solar installation is producing, the extra energy needed to power the house is pulled from the grid, as it normally would be. When you install a solar system on a home, the only noticeable difference you'll see is on your electric bill. Investing in a PV system is a smart, sensible choice that pays for itself over time by harnessing the most abundant, free form of energy available to us today, solar power. It all has to do with how much electricity your system generates and how much you use on a daily, monthly, and annual basis. 
Sometimes customers produce more power than they use and send the surplus energy back into the grid. Other times, homes and businesses use more power than their solar panels can generate. So depending on how much energy your system generates and your consumption, you may end up with either a charge or a credit for the month at the normal rate. The credits you accumulate in a given month can offset the charges you receive in other months. This is called net energy metering. Then, every 12 billing months, you get a true-up statement that reconciles all the charges and credits you received over the past year. If you have a balance remaining, it tells you what amount is due. If you have a credit remaining, it's reset to zero and nothing is owed. It also indicates if you're eligible for net surplus compensation if you generated more energy than you consumed in total over the year. But whatever kind of solar household or business you are, there's one more thing to know. Everyone with solar can save money on energy while they're making a difference for the environment. The Solar Investment Tax Credit is a federal tax credit where you can effectively reduce the cost of your solar system by 30%. As an example, if your gross system cost is $20,000, your tax credit would reduce your system cost by 30%, or $6,000, making your net system cost $14,000. This tax credit has been extended at 30% through 2019, at which point it steps down to 26% in 2020 and 22% in 2021. In order to claim this tax credit, you must purchase your system, either through a cash purchase or a loan. If you lease your system, your leasing company will claim the tax credit. Additionally, you must have a tax liability that is greater than or equal to 30% of your system cost to be able to claim the tax credit in a single year. However, you can claim portions of the tax credit over five years if your tax liability isn't as large as 30% of your system cost. Not only does the tax credit apply toward the cost of your solar system, it also applies towards any other work you need done to go solar. This means, if you need to re-roof or upgrade your panel box, you are eligible to claim the 30% tax credit on the cost of the panel box or the portion of the roof that has solar on it.